Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be telling y'all all the books that I hauled in November and December. So it is actually Christmas, so Merry Lee Christmas to y'all. I hope you all had a great Christmas. I'm keeping my voice a little bit down by the way because it is 11.30 at night. So you're gonna have to deal with a quieter Avery today. I have some books to share with y'all today. I wanted to haul these before the end of the year so I could start off the new year with new books, a new haul. So when you're talking about the books that I hauled in November and December, most of them just came today because of Christmas, and then the books in November were basically all of the books that I got on Black Friday. <laughs> so the first two books I'm going to talk about are actually my only two pre-orders that I got. First we have Watch Over Me by Mila Gray. This is Mila Gray's fourth book in this companion romance series that she's been writing. I've absolutely loved the first two. I actually finished this book today but it's not a review so I guess check back in in January when I post my December wrap-up because my thoughts will be in there about this book. Um, but this is about our main character named Zoe. She and her family are on the run from her abusive father that just escaped from prison and in pops Tristan, her brother's best friend. Her brother Will is in the military. Tristan is in the Coast Guard. Zoe's brother has basically asked Tristan to help his family out, protect his family, and a romance sparks up between Zoe and Tristan. And my other pre-order was Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I don't know much about this book if I'm being honest. I think it's a YA romance dealing with a mother and daughter relationship and the daughter has her own love interest and the mom has her own love interest maybe. I'm not very sure that's all I know about it. Hopefully I'll love this one because I absolutely love Colleen Hoover so if you've read this book already please let me know down below and tell me what you thought about it. So the next group of books are the books that I got on Black Friday. This is my first time ever going Black Friday shopping um, and I only went to bookstores so I got quite a few and I'm going to share those with you now. The first three are books that I got at Barnes & Noble. First I got The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is the collector's edition and it is signed by the author also. I originally listened to this book through Audible. I had a physical copy to look through but it was actually my sister's. So I decided to get my own copy and it was gold and beautiful and signed in Barnes and & Noble and I just had to get it. If you didn't know about this book, this is a young adult contemporary book dealing with the Black Lives Matter movement. I really really love this, one of my favorite young adult novels and I know that so many people in this community love it as well. If you have not heard about this book, please check it out, pick it up, it's great. Next we have a Christmassy romance book. We have Stealing Kisses in the Snow by Joe McNally and it looks like it is about the single mom named Piper and uh, she runs an inn and a guy on a motorcycle named Logan pops into her inn, stays in her inn and I believe it is their romance and I think I read something about his grandmother trying to be a matchmaker and make them be together or something like that. That sounds really cute. I know that Christmas is over now but I feel like this would be a perfect read for the wintry time in January so I'm probably gonna pick this up next month and I'm really excited and this looks really cute. And the last book that I got at Barnes & Noble on Black Friday, The Hurricane by R.J. Prescott. So this has something to do with a woman who I believe is a gifted mathematician who's trying desperately to make ends meet long enough to finish her degree. And then she meets the owner of an old boxing gym and M is thrown into the path of the most dangerous man she's ever met, Cormac the Hurricane O'Connell. So I believe this has something to do with fighting the cover drew me in. <laughs> it sounds really cool. I've never read a fighting, I don't know if it's like MMA fighting or underground fighting, I have no idea, but I've never read like a fighting romance story book so this sounded really interesting to me it looks good i think the reviews are pretty good for this book so i'm excited for this one also the next couple books are the books that i got at half price books on black friday they had a really big sale 20 percent off of everything so i got a few first i got attachments by rainbow rowell i absolutely love fangirl and carry on by rainbow rowell and i saw this book i have price books and just had to get it i've heard great things about it i believe it is about a guy who um is in charge of reading employees emails to make sure maybe nothing sketchy is going on in the company and he starts developing feelings for a woman in the company 
as she's emailing her friend, I believe, and he's only having feelings for her, never actually talking to her, only by reading her emails to this friend of hers. That sounds really interesting. I've heard great things about this book. It's fairly short, so I'm really excited. Next, I have The Moment of Letting Go by J.A. Redmirsky. J.A. Redmirsky wrote one of my favorite romance books of all time, which is called The Edge of Never. I absolutely love that book. Um, so I saw J.A. Redmirsky's name and I was like, ooh, what's this book? <laughs> so this is about our main character named Sienna and she really likes to follow the rules, doesn't like to get distracted, sticks to the plan that she's made for her life. But then she ends up taking a vacation to Hawaii and there she meets a sexy surfer named Luke and they kind of have a little fling for two weeks but then slowly it starts to turn into something more serious. That sounded really good to me. I've never read a book set in Hawaii either. <laughs> I love J.A. Winooski's writing, so I'm really excited for this one, and I've never heard anything about this one, so I'm very intrigued. And the last book that I got at Half Price Books is like a gem. <laughs> I found How to Catch a Wild Viscount by Tessa Dare. This is a little novella that I found that's Tessa Dare's. If you don't know, I love Tessa Dare. She is a historical romance author. I love her. I found this tiny little novella there, can you believe that? So this is about um, a Viscount named Luke has just returned from war as a changed man and he has nothing to offer this starry-eyed innocent girl who pledged her heart to him four years ago. But Cecily Hale isn't a girl any longer, she's a grown woman who won't be pushed away. She has only a few moonlit nights to reach the real Luke, the wounded heart she knows still beats inside the war-ravaged body or she could lose him to the darkness forever. I love Tessa Dare. That sounds really intriguing. Very short. I'm probably gonna read this in the next couple days. Next are the books that I got for Christmas. First grouping are going to be books that my mom purchased for me and then afterwards I'm gonna be talking about the books that were sent to me by some lovely booktube friends. So the first grouping are all the books that my mom got me. There are a lot, and they're all classic Barnes & Noble editions. Um, she told me that there was a sale going on at Barnes & Noble where if you bought a book, you got one free, and they were all really cheap, like $10 a piece. She got me a lot of them. Some of them I never heard of before, which is very interesting because I love classics, and there are some that I've never heard of that she got for me, which is amazing. So the first three are the three that I have never heard of before. First, we have The Wind and the Willows by Kenneth Graham. This cover is so cute. I believe all of these are children's classics besides one of them. I love this color. I love this cover. Gorgeous. I don't know anything about this one though. Next we have Aesop's Fables maybe that's how you pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Another gorgeous cover. I don't know anything about this one though. And then we have The Swiss Family Robinson by Joanne David Weiss. I don't know anything about this one. Cover is cute beautiful, beautiful colors. Next, I have The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgins Burnett. This one is gorgeous. I love this blue. Gorgeous. Um, this is a classic, I believe, dealing with a girl who finds a secret garden. <laughs> I remember watching the movie as a kid and really loving it. I've yet to read the book, so I'm looking forward to this one. Next, we have A Little Princess by Frances Hodgins Burnett. Another Frances Hodgins Burnett. Another gorgeous cover. I watched the movie as a kid, I actually read the book as a kid. I remember reading this to my fifth grade class. I had a paperback version. I have no idea where that went. I'm so thankful to have this one. It is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to read this one. Next we have Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. I have a few copies of Anne of Green Gables because my mom and I absolutely love the TV show Anne with an E. Uh, so I've been wanting to read this book for actually a while. I think this is maybe the second or third copy of this book. Um, this one is gorgeous though. This is like my color yellow. My room is this color yellow. I love it. It's gorgeous. Next we have a gorgeous copy of The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm so sorry. I grew up watching The Wizard of Oz constantly. One of these ornaments on the tree. No, actually many of these ornaments on my tree behind me. Wizard of Oz themed. Wizard of Oz family, we love the Wizard of Oz. Funny enough though, I never had the book, so this is perfect for my collection. Next, I have a hunky doozy one, the biggest one in this set. We have <laughs> the complete works of William Shakespeare. Uh, the glare is pretty bad, but maybe you can see. It is a huge daddy of a book. <laughs> Here's the back. Beautiful, it has William and Shakespeare in the center, beautiful. 
and then the gorgeous whoa whoa spine this one's gonna stand out for sure as probably the biggest in my collection i'm excited though because I don't have all of Shakespeare's completed works. Next I got The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle, I believe. I'm so sorry. Another movie I grew up watching all the time is the cartoon classic Robin Hood. I love that movie a lot. This cover, another gorgeous cover. Probably my favorite one out of the bunch is The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. This cover is gorgeous. The Little Mermaid is maybe my favorite Disney movie. It's that or Beauty and the Beast. Hans Christian Andersen's tale though is uh, kind of gut-wrenching. So um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna read this cause it'll make me really sad. <laughs> I've read this one before, but I've never had my own copy. So I'm excited to have this in my collection though. Next we have The Jungle Book by Kipling. This one is really cool also, very cool cover. I've never actually read The Jungle Book. I grew up watching the Disney movie so this will be a fun read for me for sure. Then we have Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I love the illustration right here. The silver with the blue is gorgeous. I love Peter Pan, grew up watching the movie, but again, I have never read the book. It is Vendy from Cartoon Pages, I believe her favorite book of all time. I really wanna read this and tell Vendy that I've read it. <laughs> and the last classic that I have to show you is a bind up of all of Shel Silverstein's works where the sidewalk ends, everything on it, poems and drawings by Shel Silverstein. Where the sidewalk ends was probably my favorite book growing up or The Giving Tree, which is also written by Shel Silverstein. I loved his poems. I loved his artwork. It was a well-beloved book in my household. I have yet to read anything other than Where the Sidewalk Ends or The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. So I believe this is a bind up of all of his works with poems and illustrations and everything. So I'm super duper excited. If you've never read Shel Silverstein and you have children, or even if you don't have children. This is a great book to read. I really loved reading these as a kid, looking at the artwork as a kid, so I totally recommend this one. And I'm really happy and excited to read the other stories in this bind up. So the rest of the books that I have to talk about today are books that were kindly sent to me from my lovely booktube friends. So thank you so much for sending these to me. You do not have to, I love all of y'all so much and I'm so grateful to have y'all in my life. <laughs> First, I received The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez from Jess from Peace Love Books. By the way, I'm linking every single one of these channels down below for y'all to check out. I absolutely love every single one of these people. So please check them out. They're all wonderful people who have wonderful booktube channels. I've had my eye on this book for a while. All I know is that it is a romance book dealing with infertility of some sort. There's been very mixed reviews. So I really wanna know how I feel about this book. And I know that Jess loved it. So hopefully I will too. So thank you so much, Jess, for sending this my way. Next, I received The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. I received this from Jen. She is in the Lovely Ladies Book Club with me. If you didn't know, I absolutely love Jen. She sent me this book. I've heard great things about this book. So I believe this is about Nina who realizes that her father, who she was never close to, dies unexpectedly and has a bunch of relatives that she didn't know about that live very close to her who all want to get to know her. So I guess it's a story about all of that and her meeting her extended family maybe. I've heard great things about this, especially from Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads. So this will be a fun one for sure, I bet. Next, I received The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros from Shelby from Shelby Taggart Reads absolutely love Shelby. She told me that this one was an emotional one. I originally heard about this book from Shelby. I love hard-hitting romance books also, so I'm really excited for this one. This one has to do with the military, a military romance. I need to prepare myself for being heartbroken, but I'm excited and thank you so much Shelby for sending this to me. Next we have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I hauled earlier in this video The Hate You Give. This is Angie Thomas's second novel dealing with, I believe, a rapper. Um, I don't know anything about rap music, so this will be very interesting for me to read. Carly from Carly Reads kindly sent this to me, so thank you so much, Carly. She said this was one of her favorite books of the year, so I'm very excited to get to this one. Hopefully, I will love this one as much as Carly does. Thank you so much, Carly, for sending this to me. Next, we have Phoenix Unbound by Grace Draven. I absolutely love Grace Draven so much and thank you so much Ashley for sending me this book. She knows that I love Grace Draven and I have yet to read this one so she kindly sent this 
book my way and I'm so excited. This is a romance book having to deal with witches, I believe in a fantasy setting. A person has to be sacrificed, I believe every year in this town for some reason, I don't know. This witch ends up, I guess, maybe reincarnating herself and being sacrificed every year. I don't know, that sounded really cool and it's about a guy realizing that, that it's her every year or something like that. It sounds very interesting. I know that Ashley really enjoyed this one, so hopefully I will too. So thank you so much, Ashley, for sending this one to me. Next, I was sent Lawrence Barbarian by Ruby Dixon from Kayla from On the Fritz. Thank you so much, Kayla. I am yet to have a physical copy of a Ruby Dixon book, and I guess I'm very well known for loving Ruby Dixon. So I'm so excited to have this. I will say, uh, <laughs> this is the worst cover I've ever seen in my life, so... <laughs> I think it's so funny that I have this one. I love it though. I love how I'm gonna have this in my collection. Uh, this is the first book in the Ice Home series, which is the spinoff of the Ice Planet Barbarian. I love this couple in this book. I love the journey that they go through. So I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection. So thank you so much, Kayla, for sending this one to me. Next, I have Brain on Fire by Susanna Callahan. This was sent to me by Emma from Muggle Glamour. Thank you so much, Emma. I'm so excited to read this. This is a memoir about a woman who wakes up strapped to a bed, not knowing what happened to her. Basically, it's how she became crazy and didn't know it. That sounds super interesting. I originally heard about this book, I believe in my AP biology class. This was an option for us to read for a paper. I read some stupid other book that I actually really despised instead of this one. This one sounds so interesting though. So I've been meaning to get more into nonfiction memoir books. So I'm really excited for this one and hopefully I can read this one in 2020 and get a kickstart into more memoirs. So thank you so, so much, Emma. <laughs> Next, I was sent Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson from Melissa, from Melissa H. I absolutely love Melissa, a lovely romance channel here on booktube. She told me that this was one of her favorite books of the year. I cannot wait to read this book. I read An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, her first book, and I actually really enjoyed that one. Um, I believe I gave that one four, three and a half stars, um, but this one sounds really intriguing. It has to deal with a magical library or something. That sounds really cool to me. I've heard great things about this book, so hopefully I will love it also. So thank you so, so much, Melissa. Next, we have with the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This cover is one of the most beautiful covers I've ever seen in my life. Larissa kindly sent this one to me. I love Larissa so much, so thank you so much for sending this to me. I just gotta show you what this book looks like naked because that's beautiful, y'all. Like, that's a beautiful naked book. <laughs> this is about our main character named Amani. This is a young adult book. She is a teen mom. She loves to cook. That's all I know about it. That sounds so stinking good. I've heard great things about this book in the bookish community. I've been hearing great things about Elizabeth Acevedo, so I can't wait to pick this one up. So thank you so much, Larissa, for sending this one my way. I know that this was one of your favorite books of the year, I believe, so hopefully I will love this one as well. The last two books I have to talk about today are both sent by the same person, so thank you so much, Hannah, for being the bookologist. I absolutely love her so much. One of my first friends here on booktube. I love her, and I hope y'all check her out. She was so kind. She sent me a late birthday present, which is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. This is a graphic novel set during the fall season. I love fall. I love graphic novels, so this is just a recipe for a great time. I've heard great things about this graphic novel and another Rainbow Rowell book I can add to my collection that I need to read, so thank you so much, Hannah. The artwork in this is gorgeous. And the last book that I'm going to haul was sent by Hannah as well. We have Bringing Them the Duke by Evie Dunmore. I've heard great things about this book, especially from Ashley from Ash Art Books. She raves about this book all the time and I trust her opinion so I'm so thankful to have this book. Thank you so much Hannah. All I know about this book is that it's a historical romance. Ashley is my historical romance queen and if she recommends me a book I'm totally gonna read it and totally probably gonna love it. I don't want to know anything else about it other than it's historical romance because I really need to step my historical romance game up y'all. I need to read more. This cover is absolutely gorgeous. I'm thinking that maybe because of all these illustrated covers becoming more mainstream 
the historical romance genre is trying to get into that as well. The illustrated covers are going to bring more people in and more into historical romance. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm very, very, very excited to read this one. Again, thank you so much, Hannah, for sending this one to me. I'm so, so grateful for you. So anyways, and there you have it. Those are all of the books that I have to share with y'all today that I hauled in November and December. I hope y'all had a very, very, very Merry Christmas and got all the books that you wanted. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye. Thank you.